Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com, our update for Saturday, December 29th, 2018. Hope you're all doing well. we got a free pick in Saturday's bowl action coming up on this report in a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below this video, set yourself up for a free $60 account, which can be used on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. And again, you get that free $60 account simply by clicking on the link below the video. Hey, uh, here's what's going on for today. we got that free pick coming up in uh, college football bowl action. Yesterday's free pick bombed out. Uh, we were on Purdue with a lot of uh, sharps and a lot of people that we know. And, uh, boy, they just didn't show up. The only, the only positive out of losing a game like that is that uh, we were put out of our misery quite early but a horrible performance and give all the credit in the world to the Auburn Tigers it was a bit of a showcase that first half for Jarrett Stidham and boy where you've been all season Auburn Tigers that was a great game first half and that team was ready to go a little bit of revenge for last year's bowl loss to Central Florida I think um, as far as what's going on right now, we're cutting this video about 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific on Friday. So still got action going on, and we'll update that on uh, Sunday morning's report. As of right now, we cashed the premium bowl play uh, with the Syracuse Orange, and uh, that was a nice second half out of Syracuse, knocking off West Virginia 34-18 to to get a little bit of basketball. The late college bowl game all going on as we speak. And again, we'll update that on Sunday's report. Wanted to mention what's going on Saturday. Well, we've got seven games left as far as our uh, college football bowl and NFL package is concerned. Uh, we've got a big six-star knockout going in Sunday's NFL. By the way, we're on a 55-31 and 31 run in the NFL going back to late last season. As you know, over the past 12 to 13 weeks, three months, college football NFL run is now 67-40. and 40. That's just red hot for three months running uh, with the win on Syracuse included. 67 and 40, 62% winners is what we've done the last three months. And our uh, $100 per unit betters are up over $12,400 as we speak. That's how good it's been the last three months. And we look to keep it going. Again, Sunday, we've got the NFL. Uh, three plays, including a six-star knockout. We look to extend our NFL run to 58 and 31 and our overall college football NFL run to 70 and 40. We've got uh, what four college football bowl plays that are left, including uh, one of the champ one of the playoff games on uh, Saturday. The battle between the Irish and Clemson is one of our plays. We've also got a seven-star main event in college football. It goes in a couple of days, but it's available right now as part of this package. And you know about our top plays run, 17-5-2, our last 24 top plays, college football and NFL combined. Our final main event of the college football season is part of this package. Altogether, seven college football and NFL plays remain as part of that package yet to go Saturday through New Year's Day. You don't want to miss out. All right, as far as basketball is concerned, we're going to be in action with at least three plays in college basketball. And I've got a seven-star main event, Saturday's college basketball. We're already locked into three plays, and uh, we have two more that we're uh, right now making a decision on playing. We just want to see what happens on a couple of pieces of information with a couple of players for these two games that may or may not be playing. We get that information, we'll have a five-play pack. But as of right now, at least three plays in college basketball led by that seven-unit main event. You'll want to jump on that on Saturday over at DocSports.com for college basketball. We'll be involved in NBA action and the NHL. We took last night off in the NHL, but we'll be back uh, on Saturday. We kicked off the post-Christmas NHL break with a winner on Thursday on the Kings. We'll be back in action on Saturday. And all those plays will be available Saturday morning over at DocSports.com. As I mentioned, those seven football plays, that package available right now as we speak. And if you grab that free $60 account, you can go get it now with that free $60. All right, let's get to a betting report before we get to our free play in Saturday's college football. I know a lot of you that uh, like to chime in and, and, and talk a little bit about what you like to hear on these videos most. One of those happens to be where the Sharps and the Joes, the public, happen to be on a lot of the big games. So let's update those right now. College football betting info for Saturday, the two playoff games, Notre Dame and Clemson. As you know, Clemson is still about a 12.5 point favorite in most books. Totals 56.5. That line has been as low as you know by as 10.5. 
and as high as 13 for the most part. Uh, public and sharps lining up on the same side. Over 70% of the tickets and the overall sharp money is on Notre Dame, plus the points. And by the way, as far as the total, the public and sharps both on the over. And we've seen this one inch up a little bit on Friday afternoon. As far as Oklahoma and Alabama, Bama basically a 14-point favorite. Total starting to go up again, up to 78. You'll remember that was as high as 81, 81 and a half at one point. Dipped down to 77. Uh, but we see the public basically split down the middle on the total at this point. Sharp money on the over, and it is inching back up in a few books to 78 as we speak. As far as the line, the side, Alabama has been as low as 13 and a half and as high as, you know, 14 for the most part. Uh, but I'll tell you what, man, as far as what's going on with the betting on the side, 54% of the public tickets and over 60% of the overall sharp money coming in on Bama minus the points in that one. And as far as uh, Joes versus pros in the bowl action, uh, really just one significant note, and that's Monday's battle between Pitt and Stanford. Stanford four and a half to five point favorite. Public is backing Stanford minus the points, 54% of the tickets on the Cardinal. Uh, but the line has come down a couple of points since it opened, and the Sharps are on the dog, over 65% of the overall money. Sharp action coming in on the Pitt Panthers plus the points. Most remaining bowl games either have insignificant action from the public and sharps as far as away from, you know, splitting down the middle, and most are in agreement uh, between the public and the sharps. So there's your three games as far as, again, Joes versus Pros Monday, uh, the public on Stanford, the sharps on Pitt, and as far as Saturday's two playoff games, can't wait till these get started, uh, the sharps and public in agreement on both games, Notre Dame plus the points, and Oklahoma minus the points. And of course, uh, we will have your Sunday NFL pros versus Joe's report on Sunday morning's video. Wanted to mention real quickly quickly right now uh, that the biggest public side on Sunday as we speak on Friday night, the Colts laying three and a half to the Titans. Uh, the Colts right now getting nearly 80% of the tickets. And by the way, the sharp action is also on Indy, well over 70% of the overall money coming in on Indy. It's the second biggest sharp side. The biggest sharp side happens to be on the Carolina Panthers, plus the points over the New Orleans Saints. Public on the Saints laying the points in that one. No shocker there. And again, we'll have NFL uh, betting reports updated for Sunday morning's video. All right, let's get to Saturday's free pick. It is the battle between Nevada and uh, the, um, excuse me, Nevada and uh, Arkansas State. Almost spaced it off in the Arizona Bowl. That's at 1.15 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday, 10.15 a.m. Pacific. And right now, Nevada's up to a one-and-a-half to two-point favorite. We happen to agree with that side. You know, they were playing extremely well, and they had a 23-point lead against UNLV in the battle for the Fremont Cannon, and they blew it. They had won their previous four games before losing to their in-state rival UNLV Rebels. And uh, from all reports, the fan base, the Wolfpack players, all fired up for this game, the Arizona Bowl, against Arkansas State. And they'll face an Ark State team that closed the season with four straight wins but fell short of their preseason goal and expectations, which was a conference championship. Uh, they struggle against the run. We've seen that all year. And while they are a bowl regular, they've struggled in postseason action. They've lost three of the last four bowls. Uh, they've given up 63, 47, and 35 points in those three bowl losses, which included a 35 to 30 loss last year to Middle Tennessee State. I like the quarterback, as does everybody, talking about Justice Hansen uh, for Arkansas State. But this Nevada quarterback, Ty Ganji, he's pretty special also. Passed for more than 3,100 yards this season. He threw 16 touchdown passes, only six interceptions in his last seven games. And I believe the Wolfpack own the better defense. So we're going to back Nevada. We agree with the movement. They're laying one and a half to two points. Nevada, your free pick in Saturday's college football bowl action. Uh, once again, uh, what we've got going right now, seven remaining college football bowls and NFL action for Sunday. All available right now, including that seven-star play on New Year's Eve in college football, including the top six-star play in NFL action on Sunday. We look to extend our top play football run to 19-5-2 with our last 26 when these games go final. And again, we are in playoff action in one of the games on Saturday, so you don't want to miss out on that. 
Seven college and pro football plays combined in all. And again, college basketball, NBA, NHL will all be uh, released and posted on Saturday morning over at DocSports.com, the football package available right now as I speak. As far as college basketball, we do have a seven-star main event as part of Saturday's card. So go grab that over at DocSports.com. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. Going to be right back here. I'm going to say by 2 a.m. Eastern Sunday morning, 11 p.m. Pacific Saturday night uh, with our next report and a free pick from Sunday's NFL. We'll have your betting update where the pros and Joes are by that time. Can't wait till Sunday's games. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Put Saturday in the win column right back here on Sunday.